Welcome students. Today we will solve third problem on projectile motion. So let us start today's lecture. So let us read the statement first. An aircraft moving horizontally at 108 km per hour at an altitude of 1000 meter towards a target on the ground releases a bomb which hits it. Estimate the horizontal distance of the aircraft from the target when it released the bomb. Also calculate the direction and velocity with which the bomb hits the target. So we are given this situation that an aeroplane is flying horizontally at 108 km per hour and let us say at point A it releases a bomb which hits the target on the ground at point B and it is flying at an altitude of 1000 meter towards the target and in this question we are asked to find the horizontal distance of the aircraft from the target when it released the bomb so we have to find this x and we have to find the direction and velocity with which the bomb hits the target so let us first find this x that is the horizontal distance between point a and point b so the very first step is let us see what is the velocity of the aircraft because that will be the initial velocity of the bomb that is a projectile in this case so the velocity of the aircraft is given to us as 108 km per hour and it is given as a horizontal velocity because it is told that aircraft is moving horizontally so the velocity of the projectile will be the initial velocity of projectile in horizontal direction and we will label it as vx is equal to 108 km per hour and let us convert this into uh, meter per second so that will be equal to 30 meter per second now we know whenever we deal with the projectile motion we deal with two types of motions we consider horizontal motion of the projectile and we consider vertical motion of the projectile and we know horizontal motion of the projectile is a uniform motion because it is without the effect of gravity and vertical motion of the projectile is under the effect of gravity so we consider that motion as uniformly accelerated motion now let us consider these motions one by one and let us first start with horizontal motion of the projectile that is bomb in this case and we know it is a uniform motion and for uniform motion we know only one equation is applicable that is x is equal to x naught plus vxt where x is the horizontal distance between point a and b x naught is the initial distance which is zero in this case and vx is the velocity of the projectile in x direction and t is the time taken for this distance by the projectile so let us put the values in this equation so we will get x is equal to zero plus 30t so in this case we have two unknowns x and t so let us call this equation as equation number one for time being now we will observe the vertical motion of the bomb and we know it is a uniformly accelerated motion so for that three equations are applicable and these are v is equal to u plus at s is equal to ut plus half at square v square minus u square is equal to 2as now let us see which equation we can use over here in order to get the unknowns over here in the first equation this v represents final velocity of the projectile that is bomb in vertical direction and that is unknown to us so if we will use this equation then in this equation there will be two unknowns t and v y so this equation will not help us to find the unknown same is the case with equation number three because it also has final velocity of the projectile in y direction so we will use only second equation which is s is equal to ut plus half at square now in this case s is the vertical distance between point a and point b and that is known to us as 1000 and u over here is the initial velocity of the projectile in y direction that is zero in this case because it is mentioned in the question that aircraft is moving horizontally so initial velocity of the bomb in y direction is zero that is v y naught 
then acceleration over here is the acceleration due to gravity then t is the time taken by the projectile for this distance so let us put the values in this equation so we have replaced as by 1000 feet and u is 0 over here and we have considered value of g negative because projectile and acceleration due to gravity both are acting in downward direction so we have considered value of g as positive into t square so this will give us the value of t as 14.3 seconds okay so now we can calculate the value of x so we will say put the value of t in equation 1 and we will get x as 429 meters so we have got our first answer that horizontal distance between aircraft and the target when the aircraft has released the bomb is 429 meters now in the next case we have to find the direction and velocity with which the bomb hits the target so this is the target and let us say this is the velocity of the bomb when it hits the target and so we have considered it as tangent to this projectile motion and we have considered it as small v that is the final velocity of the bomb or of the projectile now in order to find this v we need to first find its components and we know one component will act along x direction we will call it as vx and other component will act in y direction we will call it as vy so you can see uh, how we have taken the direction of these two components as the direction of the resultant is towards the target so in these two components also we have taken direction towards the target now in order to find uh, the direction and the magnitude of this velocity we have to first find the magnitudes of these two components the magnitude of this component we know which is 30 meter per second that is the velocity of the projectile in x direction now we have to find the velocity of the projectile in y direction so let us see how we can find this value so we will say v is equal to u plus at where v is the final velocity vy of the projectile in y direction u is the initial velocity of the projectile in y direction and g is acceleration due to gravity and t is the time taken by the projectile now vy we have to find u is 0 because aeroplane is moving horizontally so the initial velocity of the projectile in y direction is 0 and g is 9.81 and value of t we have already found as 14.3 seconds so let us put these values so we will get vy as 0 plus 9.81 into 14.3 and vy will be equal to 140.1 meter per second so we have got the values of vx which is 30 meter per second and vy which is 140.1 meter per second now we will use parallelogram law over here and we will get the value of v so these two components are at 90 degrees to each other so cos 90 is 0 so the formula for the magnitude of v will reduce to vx square plus vy square under root so let us put the values of these two vx is 30 and vy is 140.1 so from here we will get the magnitude of the velocity of the bomb as 143.3 meter per second when it will hit the target now we have to find the direction of velocity also so let us consider angle phi of this resultant with its vertical component which is vy so we will say tan phi tan phi will be equal to perpendicular upon base so perpendicular is vx and base is vy so we will get tan phi is equal to 30 divided by 140.1 that will be equal to 0 0.2141 and we will say phi is equal to tan inverse of 0 0.2141 that will be equal to 12.1 degrees so we have found the magnitude and velocity of the bomb when it will hit the target b so I hope this answer is clear to you. Thank you very much.